Hello and welcome to another episode of DIY Web Strategy Labs and in today's lab we are going to be taking our theme, our WordPress theme, and we're going to be enqueuing the styles, registering the styles to the front page. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and take this here. Let's switch to the home page real quick. All right, we got our site title here and we want to make sure that our uh, styles are applied to our site. And right now it looks like in the head we don't have our styles applied. Yeah, it doesn't look like our styles are applied yet. We got CSS, Roboto. Yeah, these are all basically for WordPress. So it's not added here. We don't have our actual CSS styles added. And we need them, like the font specifically. We want to make sure that we can see either Lado or Montserrat in the font. Uh, first off, let's go back to edit. Let's make sure that our site title does actually show that we are using a particular font. So font family, it's on default, switch to Lado and save. Now, Let's go back to the home page and it's showing as we can see it is showing Let's see, where would it be? Because it should be somewhere up here, but I don't see it. So I'm assuming that it is, so we got the color primary, that's there, and we got the font family as Lado, but it's that important, so we need to fix that. We need to make it so that it comes from the, uh, it's enqueued on the file. So what we want to do is go in to our VS code editor, and we want to start adding our files in here. So first we want to go with, hang on, let, let me copy this real quick. First, and then uh, let's switch to the VS Code editor and let's go into index.php. Uh, we're going to get rid of everything here. Actually, you know what? First, let's go to our functions.php uh, file. Let's create a functions.php file first. Functions.php. And we're going to paste, well, first let's make sure that we have PHP going here. And then we're going to paste our uh, PHP in here. So we have a comment for variables, a comment for includes, which would have uh, the variables section. This would be a section for variables that we include. And then includes is for uh, the includes folder. So we're going to be adding files uh, from the includes folder. So we're going from includes slash front slash nq.php. So we're going to create these files here, the nq.php and the head.php. And then we have the hooks, which is 
our hook is add action WP NQ scripts, which brings the uh, script, our CSS script uh, to the front page. And then the head DIY head uh which will bring the head scripts to the front page so we're going to save this real quick and then we're going to add a new directory called assets and we're going to add a file called index.css And we're going to uh, take what we have here and paste it. Hang on for a second. Let me make sure I got it all. Uh, so let me show you guys. I went and got my CSS. I went and got a, a theme created on uh, Bootstrap. So all you got to do is just basically uh, Google CSS templates, Bootstrap generator, and click the first link that's there. Uh, you got your template here. So you can click export theme and bootstrap.css. Uh, actually, you know what? So what I did is I click bootstrap.css and save the file. But what I did was let's go back over here. I put the file here. So let me actually just move this here and replace it. And so now I got the index.css file in here. So let me go back to the functions.php file. Uh, we need to add an includes directory. And then we need to add the file in queue dot PHP and we need to add the file dot php head dot php all right so now um let's go ahead and copy what i got first uh, let's do the DIY in Q. Let's go back to the WordPress. I mean, uh, the visual studio editor and let's paste what we have. Uh, first let's make sure that we got this in PHP. All right, so now everything's in PHP. So what we got here is our function DIY in queue with the styles that we're registering. So WP register style, we're making sure that we had the uh, fonts Lato and Montserrat in there. So I went and got the fonts from here. I forgot to mention that. So let's go back over here. I went to Google fonts, grab the, uh, the Lato font and the Montserrat font. So you'll see it here. So you just click on Montserrat and then uh, scroll down to regular and add. So it right here says remove, but you can select it and then it'll add it over here. And then you can copy the uh, URL and then paste it over here. So you'll have this file here. So you wanna make sure you have this function, 
DIY and Q or whatever uh, function, whatever you want to call the function, I would recommend making sure that the name of it is like it has some sort of prefix and then NQ underscore NQ. And then these are uh, WordPress functions that are already built in. So you can just, uh, you know, look up WP underscore register underscore style, and then you can find out more about this function. And then um, you'll find out all the parameters that are available to uh, make sure that the syntax of the this function is correct. And right now we're using two parameters. So one is the name of the uh, style and then two is the second parameter is the URL for the style. So we did that also here with WP register style for DIY bootstrap icons, which will add this uh, URL in the uh, on the front page queue. And then um, we have uh, this get theme file URI, which is for local uh, files. So we use this so that it makes sure that it can add the uh, localized URL, URL to the uh, to the queue. Now at the very bottom, we call these uh, functions. So uh, WP and Q style will now call DIY font Leto and Montserrat. Okay. And then WP and Q style DIY bootstrap icons and then DIY theme. So let's save this. And then let's go to head.php. Let's make sure that I got everything that I need here. Um, let me see. Let me copy this function here. All right. Let's go back. And I'm going to paste that function there. Uh, let's make sure that it's in PHP. I should always do that first, actually. All right. So now it's in PHP. Let me save it. And then this is the DIY head function, which uh, we have this here because we have HTML in our PHP here. So uh, we got to make sure that we come out of PHP to render HTML files because PHP doesn't render HTML. Uh, so then it goes back into the PHP file and then closes out the function. Okay. So we're just adding these two HTML lines to the queue. Now the issue is, is that when it adds these lines to the queue, it's going to do it after the, uh, the bootstrap file. So what we want to do is make sure that on the functions PHP file, when we uh, add the action WP head, we add it before the DIY and Q. So this parameter here, this third parameter for five is uh, the lower the number, the higher in the queue it, it goes. Okay. So that's pretty much it for that. We got everything saved. So let's go ahead and refresh the page over here and see if we have all of our style showing up. Uh, we got an issue. So um, did I put it all in the right folder? Let me make sure. Oh, I put it in the wrong folder. So let's go back. <laughs> I did it in the wrong folder. So now we got to go back to includes. Let me right click that new folder. And then change it to front. And then 
let me move these in here. And now let's see if we refresh. Let's come back over here. Refresh the page. I'm going to do a hard refresh. So that's control shift and R. And that did it. So let's see if we got our files in there in the head. And we should see them up here. So we got the fonts, Google API and the gstatic.com. And then we should see our f other fonts up here. Uh, so here's the bootstrap icons and our index.css. And then I'm missing the Google API. Oh, there it is up there. So yeah, and the uh, Google API and gstatic.com are both above. Let me go back to the VS code to just double check and make sure. So we got this here, uh, this here, the bootstrap and the index.css. And we also have these two here. So uh, everything is there now and we should be able to see all of our uh, styling on the homepage of the website when we finally start adding all of our uh, components and um, blocks to the index page or to the to the homepage. So we still have you know another step to go before we get to uh starting to design actually no the next step is going to, into designing the home page uh now that we have all of our styles and everything in queue uh, we should be able to see them all on the front page when we actually uh go to the home page from now on so that should be it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next video where we take on actually finally uh designing the the thing all right thanks for watching see you in the next video peace